What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. long overdue video. I am going to change the oil on this entry. Yes, I am doing it again. I told you I never left the Nissan family because we still got the Sentry. Completely paid off Sentry. So, I'm trying to con my wife. Or get my wife to let me customize her Sentry. She wanted to stay normal like this. But y'all just come in and come in and just say, let him modify your car. Let him do some things to the car, like add an intake. She says she don't want me doing no stuff to make it faster or none of that. I ain't gonna do nothing there. I just wanna make it look better. Just make it look real good, see? The car already look good. Like, yeah. But I told her, let me just add a little bit of little side skirts or something, you know. Maybe wrap the roof for Or even wrap the whole car. Put her some rims on there one day. But she don't want me to do none of that. She wanna leave it like it is, so. Y'all just leave it in the comments and let me know. But anywho, today, you can go ahead. We're gonna uh, change the oil. We're gonna use the Mobile One Synthetic Oil Zero W20 High Mileage. Her car has 95,000 miles on it. And we're gonna use the OEM oil filter. This is the same filter that works for the Ultima. Same size, same part number, same everything. So if you got an Ultima, you're watching the video, this is the same part number, you can go up there or, or Go to Nissan or order it offline and you'll be good. So I didn't go with OEM for the air filter. Reason because I don't know if I'm going to change this into, you know, uh, either DIY code intake or actually buy a KN or something that will fit in here like this. So um, so I decided to go ahead and go to Walmart, just get the Super Tech one. That's the part number for it right there, 2760. That goes in there. If you don't know what type of oil goes in here, um, it should show you, it should tell you anytime. Where is that? Um, somewhere up here. Yeah. So they go to label right there and tell you what type of oil right there. Everything you need to know is all up here. And you got everything you need to know about your refrigerant, all of that, and this. Also, I am going to clean from under the engine bay as well. And um, what I'm going to do, use is a Fabuloso mix. So it's going to be a Fabuloso and water mix. So under here, it's going to look real fabulous when I'm done. So let's get it, get it in. Yay, yay. All right, if you have one part in your center or whatever. Um, so on your passenger side, it's super easy to get to it on the center. On your passenger side, you got your oil filter here. You may have a covering over here so you remove some clips. Unfortunately, my wife's car doesn't. I might need to order one to cover all this up, but I mean, it's pretty much over with for that. That's that's long done. <laughs> As you can see, somebody a long time ago zip tied this in and just said, hey, forget it. So, I mean, it's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to come under here and and correct i might order the cover or whatever you just take your clips off you have a clip here probably one back there on all the sides so but um yeah so your oil filters here and your oil pan is right here um so you're gonna need pretty much a 14 millimeter boat i mean wrench or whatever to uh get that take care of so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. What the heck? I just got attacked by a little baby caterpillar. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this done before I get attacked again. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for up under here. I'm gonna uh, try to set this camera up for a time lapse from a different angle. All right, next up, what you want to do, you want to get your filter out. Get your filter here. These new Nissan filters, they don't require you to pour oil in the side. You just lube the edges on that one. 
So what you want to do, you just want to take your glove, finger with the glove in it, and you just want to lubricate, lubricate around the seal right there. Same thing I did with the Ultima, just lubricate around the seal just like that. Just get it all wet up in there. I mean, just get it on, <laughs> get it <laughs> lubricated. <laughs> Gotta keep it PG. <laughs> so, just do that a couple times. Uh, get it together. While that's still draining up on the nut, I mean, you could be done with this task in about 30 minutes. If it's your first time doing it, you could be done in, for, in 30 minutes. It's super, super easy. Super, super easy. Once you get all this lubricated up, seals and everything, now you're ready to go back up under the car and uh, install the new filter. Tighten it by hand first. And if you got the proper tool, you can tighten it completely. But if you can get it real tight by hand, tighten it by hand, but just to go behind yourself, if you got the tool, like the wrench or anything, just tighten it a little bit more and you're good. So I'm gonna tighten everything up under there, put the bolts back in and um, clean this up and we're gonna be almost done. Remember it's a uh, zero W20 synthetic. Use synthetic, please use synthetic. If you even go to the Nissan dealership, you're gonna have a little chart right there to use synthetic. So, all right, let's get it. Next up, all you want to do, now you got everything tightened up on the bottom, get your oil here. Get your oil, just give it a good little swish around. You hear that? Give it a good little swish around inside. Stir up all the contents that's in there that need to be done, even though they ain't got nothing to do with it. But once you get that done, you want to turn it sideways, and you want to start pouring it in just like that. You can pour it slowly. This uh, five course is all you need. And make sure you have a funnel too. You can get all this stuff for cheap, man. You get this funnel for like a dollar from Walmart. So you ain't gotta worry about that. Just start pouring everything in slowly. Like I'll be changing the oil most of the time on the Century and the Durango. I do need to go get some more tools. Trying to invest in getting one of them jack stands. The, the um, three-ton jack stand. I mean, not jack stand, but jack floor jacks. I get one of those and get me some jack stands also. Um, I should be good. But like you just get everything here and pour it in. And should be good. Now, before we start it up, like I said, we're gonna make sure we got everything buttoned up up top. I'm gonna change the filter as well real quick and let that sit right there for a minute get it all out the uh, cone there and the container I got from Walmart that has the oil in the bottom you can get that for about $10 from Walmart all this from $10 I mean all this actually from Walmart so this this was actually on sale for like what 23 so that's a better deal instead of buying each individual ones unless they ain't got it so so yeah so uh, next up, I'm gonna move y'all around, point y'all down, bars. And we're gonna get ready to uh, change out this air filter here. So change out the air filter, it's a small little area. So you're gonna do your clamps right there. And my piece right here broke, so that might be another reason why that mass airflow sensor code keep getting thrown. So look down a little bit more on the side of the battery right here. You got this piece, and you got this. It'll lift up out of there. That piece right there picks up out of there, and you can take it out. Take that whole assembly out right there. And then next thing you know, since you got that out, this is why I want to upgrade her stuff, because it's, it's long overdue. She might as well go and let me get it, right? 
Let me go ahead and put, put some touch to it. I'm gonna do whatever she want. Whatever she want to, I'm gonna do it. To be done, I'm gonna do it. So like, y'all just comment in the comments below. I'll try to help you boy out. It ain't been a while since I took this up. On my old center, I had went in and modified this. It's pretty much the same thing I did to the Ultima. I had a center before she got this one, but I had traded that center in for the road when we first had our son. That was back in like 2017. But yeah, man, that center clean. If I can find a picture, I think I got it on my Instagram somewhere. I found a picture of it and put it in here. But yeah, man, I had rims on it. <laughs> It's pretty clean. And I broke something. I don't know what I broke, but I broke something to get it up out of here. So, just letting y'all know I did break something. But I don't know what it is. See, like, it's this piece, this part right here that's hard to come up, come out from the back. Let me let y'all know. As you can see, it's a little hard, so. But yeah, we're gonna take out the air filter. See how, let's see how dirty it is. Oh my lord, it's, it's dirty. Look at that. Oh, man down. Man down. Got a man down. Alert, alert. Man down, man down. All right. Let me see what we But yeah. Look at that, man. So, let's get to it. But other one from Walmart, which is that one. See what it looks like compared to that one. You know they all pretty much the darn same. And I said it was the right part number. I did. <laughs> it's cheap, don't get me wrong. It's the back side of it. Said it was the right part number for it, so. Looks a little small around the breed in there, and then we flip it around. Everything pretty much, and uh, I don't know what this is. Piece of black gunk. I don't know what that is. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, slap this one in there real quick. Flap it out, spread it out real good, and um, put it in here. So you put it in the same way it came out. You want this side facing down. You want this side facing down inside. Drill uh, air box. Oh, it's actually a perfect fit. So you see that? Boom. Okay, Super Tech. I see you. And you want to make sure, man down again. You want to make sure you got the light right there. All right. So got the air filter. Let it be changed. Like I said, you know you got it on the right side. You got the indentation right there. Slide it on in. See if you can get it in there. It's easier putting it back in than getting out. It's a pain in the butt trying to get out. All right. Now we got that. I'm gonna clip this on back in there real quick. We got everything in spot. In this spot, original spot, boom, boom. Right. If that code keep throwing on that mass airflow sensor, uh, I'm just gonna buy an OEM one. So go to Nissan and just get an OEM one. Hopefully that'll do. Or order order up one. It's gonna be a little more pricey, but sometimes you just gotta do that. Gotta put that piece back in there. I need to tape it down or something, man. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it with that part. Now next up, we are going to put our cap back on and start this car up. Put our old filter back in this box so we can throw it away. You ain't sending it off to nobody, so you don't need it. All right, next thing. Gonna, uh, put our piece in there. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's all I can tell you. Make sure that's good and tight. 
strap that piece on now. The next thing we're going to do when she hit 100,000 miles, we're going to come in here, we're going to change the coils, and we're going to change the spark plugs on it. Get this engine back 100%. And we're also going to do our own CVT transmission uh, fluid. Like, it's called a spilling field. So let's go ahead and start her up and check for leaks underneath. Going below, going under the bottom here. We're gonna check for any leaks. See if you got any leaks coming on food, try. No leaks. No leaks. Y'all excuse me, I had scratched up the the uh engine with the filter there, the old filter there. Alright, so far no leaks. We're good on that part. So uh yeah. I'm gonna keep this underneath for a little bit, let it run for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come back. See y'all in a few. Oh. And did y'all think I really was gonna get rid of them last fit max? I found a way to make them work in the center. Yes indeed. The last fit LED, I did not get rid of all those. As you can see in the back back here. These are the ones from the Ultima. So like I said, everything is compatible, baby. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this code reader. I got this from uh, AutoZone. It was like $33 and they was on sale a little while ago because of Durango had a couple issues. So I was getting those error codes with it. Oh, uh, look for this ODB2 port. It's gonna be right up under there. And we're gonna plug it in. Let's get a plug in, you'll hear a beep beep. Um, it's gonna read. <sighs> Let me get in here. So you, what you wanna do is turn your car to the on position, the world to run position, so it can read. And see, check in like, like I said, she has 95,000, almost 96,000. She'll be at 96 by the end of the week. All right, so we got our code P0101. So that that's actually ain't leading to nothing. I don't know, man. It it might could have been the um, the mass airflow. I mean, the air filter being dirty because the check engine light come in and come off. So since I already know what the code is about, I'm gonna delete it. And if it comes on again, I'm gonna replace it with an OEM mass airflow filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. Should start seeing the check into light flash up there. It's gonna read it again. Now we got the same one, P0101. Now it's showing all this EGR, EVAP system and all that. So we're gonna delete it. Erase it, start the car up, and you should see that check engine light go away. All right, now we got check engine light gone. We're gonna detail under the hood. Like I said, if it come back, then we already know what it is. We gonna just go ahead and get the OEM one. I should have been changing it. Um, I thought I fixed it by cleaning up everything, cleaning the mass airflow sensor by itself, but it didn't it didn't do anything so we're gonna see maybe it was the outfit who knows but uh yeah the miles gonna adjust you know the car was sitting up so it's gonna readjust itself and um but yeah let's get back on the let's get under the hood and detail it, and then we're gonna wrap up this video Got everything slightly cleaned up up under here. As you can see. 
But yeah, it looks a lot better than before. Oil has changed and everything. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We got a lot more stuff to do, a lot more coming with this car. Like I said, if y'all can get her to uh, say, I could do it, I'm gonna do it. Especially like, she definitely need new headlights. New headlight house. And I found some on Amazon that'll go with these last fit lights I got in here. So yeah, but man, it's hot than a mug. I'm about to call it a day. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.